entitled Let There Be Light, dedicated to the Portsmouth Citadel Band and depicting the journey of the great ships out from the hustle and bustle of the famous harbour to the majestic open waters of the English Channel. Indeed, all the pieces in our programme are inspired by journeys undertaken by the composers. Our second piece is Klaus van der Woods' superb arrangement of the piano solo Sometime Somewhere by the contemporary jazz pianist George Shutak. Whilst traveling home to Chicago on a long haul flight, the composer gazed through the window at the light breaking through the clouds and wrote this beautiful melody which reminds us that there is light and love for each and every one of us sometime, somewhere. Please welcome our cornet soloist, Sarah Peasley.
is Robin Dewhurst's excellent arrangement of the jazz guitarist Pat Metheny's Last Train Home, where the composer vividly captures the experience of running up the platform, getting on the train as the final whistle blows. You sit down with a sense of relief and allow the rhythmic drive of the train to relax you. You smile and even start humming your favorite song and think of the warmth and comfort that awaits you at home. Please welcome our percussionist train drivers, Julian Haas and Mark Davis, and our trained guard this morning, the euphonium soloist, Alex Seedhouse, in Pat Metheny's Last Train Home. piece is Matthew Hall's great homage to the great Welsh composer Joseph Parry, written for the fantastic Tredegar Band, entitled The Legends of Cavartha, 
Working with his father in the Myrtle Tidville Cavartha Iron Works from the tender age of 12, life for the young Joseph was extremely hard and in stark contrast to that of Robert Crothay, the Iron King, rich owner of the works, who built himself a castle and bought himself a brass band for his own entertainment. The Parry family decided to join the mass exodus from the South Wales Valleys on board the great steamship, the SS Jane Anderson, bound for a new and better life in the rolling hills of Pennsylvania. Whilst on board, Joseph thought of the lovely red-haired Mavanwy Llewellyn, his first love, that he was sadly leaving behind, and wrote for her what is arguably the most beautiful melody ever written, simply entitled Mavanwy my beloved, which is at the center of this great work, played lovingly on the trombone by Tim Mossad. Our finale, Legends of Kavartha, thank you for listening. Thank <laughs> you.